In this video, we will look at an example that uses one of the FMA instructions. FMA stands for Fused Multiply Add. There are a variety of arithmetic operations that can be performed by the FMA instructions. We will be focusing on the VFM Add instruction. The VFM Add instruction has two operations built in. The first operation is a multiplication operation and the second operation is an addition operation. The three digit suffix that accompanies the instruction specifies which two operands are to be multiplied and which operand is to be added. For example, if the instruction that we use is a VFM add 132 pack double, the first operand is going to be multiplied with the third operand and the results are going to be added with the second operand. So in this instruction, the first operand, which is YMM1, will be multiplied with YMM3, and the results will be added with YMM2, which is the second operand. The final result is saved in the destination operand, which is the YMM1 register. Our example is going to take an input array which has temperatures in Celsius and is going to convert the Celsius temperatures to Fahrenheit. Notice to convert a temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit, we need to perform a multiplication operation and an addition operation. So the FMA instruction is uh, an ideal candidate for this purpose. We start off by loading the input array in the YMM1 register. The input array contains temperatures in Celsius. The temperature values in the input array are to be scaled by a factor of 1.8. So the scaling factor 1.8 is loaded in memory. We then perform the first operation in the fused multiply add pd instruction which is the multiplication operation the first operand is multiplied with the third operand so each element in the input array is scaled by a factor of 1.8 and this completes the multiplication portion of the fma the next operation is to add a value of 32 to the scaled values. And that is done by loading the constant value of 32 into the second source operand, which is YMM2. So the second portion of the VFMA add instruction is going to add the values in YMM2 to the computed product of YMM1 and the memory location. At this point, the, multi the addition portion of the FMA is complete and the results are available in the destination operand, which is YMM1. We then use the destination operand and write those values into the original source array, thereby replacing the source array with the Fahrenheit values. Let's head over to the terminal and see the code in action. So here on line 32, I have the input temperature array, which has the values in Celsius. The increment array has a value of 32, which is the constant value which needs to be added. And the scaling array has the scaling factor of 1.8. The ASM block starts off by loading the YMM1 register with the value of the input array. So YMM1 now contains the input temperatures in Celsius. YMM2 is loaded with the increment array, which is a value of constant value of 32. And we then execute the VFM add 132 pack double instruction on line 49. The values in YMM1 
are multiplied with the values in the third operand which is the scaling operand and the results of that multiplication are then added with YMM2 which is the increment operation. At this point the YMM1 register contains the converted temperature values in Fahrenheit. On line 50 the destination operand YMM1 with the Fahrenheit values is written back to the source array and the source array gets updated with the Fahrenheit values. Now let's see this program in action by building this and running it. As we can see here the input temperatures in Celsius got converted to equivalent temperatures in Fahrenheit and this demonstrates that the fused multiply add instruction did its job. I hope this video was useful in understanding the FMA add instruction. I'll see you guys in the next video.